right, friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo! Yes. Uh, anyways, welcome back to another episode. This week we're doing dating horror stories. Yes. A lot of you asked us to do this, um, especially after we talked about our dating horror stories. Do you have any more to share? I don't know that I do. No, I do remember one time this guy that I knew liked me for like the longest time. This and is I, in college? Yeah. Okay. And I like did not really like him like that. Like mm-hmm. I thought he was nice, but I just knew we had no, nothing. We had no chemistry in the yeah. sense that we had nothing in common. Sure. Like, other than the fact that he was attracted to me. Yeah. And I'm also attracted to me. <laughs> just kidding. That same, was a joke. Same. Relax. But um, not saying like I'm attracted to. I'm saying you're the same. Thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I remember he had asked me. He finally asked to take me out to dinner. Okay, when year I, is this? Your freshman. I year? was a senior in college. Oh, so okay. it was 2017. 17, yeah. Yeah, 2017. So it was right before I graduated. So. Okay. I remember telling my friends and I'm like, I really don't want to do that Mm -hmm. because no, I was going to say this is going to sound fucked up, but it's not. He wasn't very smart. So holding a conversation with someone that is like an idiot. Yeah. With someone who's willfully stupid. I'm not saying like someone who like is trying their best. Like this is someone who like just genuinely didn't give a fuck about school Mm -hmm. and didn't care to learn or educate himself. And so <laughs> I was telling my friends, like the thought of having to talk to him for longer than an hour, not in a dimly lit room when we're both fucked up. Yeah. Makes me want to die. So like oh, okay. probably not a good idea. And they were like, you should just do it. Like who gives a fuck? Like just go on the date. Like I bet you'll have fun. Mm-hmm. Like my friend's telling me not to be uptight. Cause I'm always an old man. Yeah. So I was like, Ugh. well, and like, us awful all the women everything is annoying <laughs> yeah well and that was when i genuinely at this point i thought to myself i think i'm gonna die alone because everybody bugs the fuck out of me <laughs> like like literally i'm so irritated so easily that i was like ah. all right fine like i was like i told him yeah sure right and he was like okay cool like he was gonna take me to cheesecake factory big spender so i was like well, on the boardwalk right there <laughs> yeah dang so, dang and then a nice romantic walk on the Waikiki. <laughs> on the West beaches of Waikiki. <laughs> so then I was like, sure. And then he told me a time. He told me that he was going to dress nice. And I was like, okay. Like, I thought that was sweet. I was like, okay, cool. I will too. I don't think I've ever heard this story. Yeah. And so then for good reason, it doesn't end well. <laughs> so then I, <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. So I picked something out to wear. Yeah. Got... I got started getting ready, right? And he had told me, well, I knew this already, but it was his birthday that same day. So I was like, you want to take me out on your birthday? He and he was like, no, you're taking me out well, for no, my yeah. birthday. That, that would have been funny. I would have been like, yeah, sure, right? Not. <laughs> Psych. Right? No, no but I, we're not going to Cheesecake Factory, bitch. We're going to McDonald's. We're going to, we're going to Zippy's. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to the Rainbow Drive-In. <laughs> Local people will love that joke. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone liked the many who know water that you the joke you made about the water. I'm telling you, bro. Like top tier water. And it then, is. And then I saw pepperoni muffin and her, her brother. They tried um, different waters and they had the many many hune water <laughs> ice cold, bro. Ooh, <laughs> that hits so hard. So in the giant fucking yeah. bottles, bro. Ooh. Like they're literally like liters, but yeah. they're so skinny. Anyways, and ribbed on the side. Yeah, yeah. that rainbow driving joke is gonna hit so hard. With <laughs> my my oahu people (laughs) but anyways so then it's his birthday okay i'm like you want you want to take me out on your birthday like maybe we should do it tomorrow Mm -hmm. and he was like well no like that'll be my gift to me is like finally getting to take you on a date and i thought that was cute so i was like your mouth and mouth his name to me no (laughs) (laughs) because it's gonna come out so he says that that that's that lame fucking shit about it being a gift. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's sweet. Okay, fine. Then we're like two hours out from him coming to pick me up in a car. Yeah. Okay. I look on Instagram and I see on his story that he's doing shots mm. with a bunch of people, a bunch of football players. It's his birthday. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, but you're supposed to drive. But okay. Ooh. Then I look and there's more footage. Like an hour goes by. Like there's more footage of him. Like 
uh, playing King's cup, like doing yeah. all these different things and getting absolutely shit face. Right. And then there's another clip, like probably like at the first time I saw the shots, I got unready. Yeah. I took my dress off. I was like, I'm not even going to bother getting yeah. ready. And then I look again and there's videos that other people took of him where like on other people's stories yeah, where he's, he shared, yeah. he was passed out face down on the ground. So he never made it as essentially the point of the, of the story. We never even went on the date, but then I said, see, that's what I get for settling. Yeah. That's like immediately what there I thought. Go. I said, I, I, was, I was literally throwing you a fucking bone and this is what you do. Yeah. And this was your idea. Like, why the fuck would you? And so then I was literally like, that's what I get for fucking lowering my bar for even a second. Like even for a free meal, it wasn't fucking dummy. worth it for this fucking dingbat, bro. Not worth it to me, dude. And then the next day he started talking to me and I was ignoring him. Yeah. And I swear to God, he tried to gaslight me into believing that he said today and not the day before. <laughs> And he was like, no, I said the day after my birthday, I go, I literally <laughs> asked you if you wanted to be, you know what? doesn't matter. No, like, I literally, <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. Hey. The answer no. is no. Honestly, I didn't want to go yesterday. So I especially don't want to go today. Okay. He's like, well, I'm also really kind of still fucked up from yesterday. So like, maybe we could just like drive through somewhere and you can come hang out at my place. <laughs> like, that's what I have to say to that. Dude. And then I saw next time I saw him in person was at a party and he was like, How come he goes, Oh, like um, He thought you stood me up. <laughs> he was like, Oh, like you never got back to me about For um, good reason, buddy. I go, Yeah, I saw it and I ignored it. So you probably didn't get my message because I didn't respond to it. So that's probably why. No, you didn't get a message because yeah. you didn't send No, one. yeah, no, you didn't get my no. Yo, I, I said, well, I figured me not responding was a pretty clear no. And then he was one of those that would like laugh and be like, you're crazy, girl. I'm going to get you one day. Yeah, And I'd be like, I fucking hate you. Like, <laughs> I don't know, like if you need a translator for like to read the absolute disgust on my face, like, like, no, to know. Yeah. So. That was one of them. That's really funny. A date that didn't even happen. Didn't even happen. It didn't even happen, and and I was settling. I wish he picked you up. Fucked up. You guys went to Cheesecake Factory. That would have been way. I kind of do too, just for the story. Yeah. Yeah. But then, like, you know, have a couple more of those, and then you know, drive home. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one time. This is. I'll make another quick story. Wait, I don't think of any dating horror story. I told you. Do I have any more? I said, and the most recent one. Oh yeah. But Jason's been on a, on a lot of dates, so. Yeah. I guess you'll never Bi know which busy, one we're talking about. Busy lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, the one I was going to bring up. <laughs> it's going to be. Oh, wait, we told the, you told you guys this one. This was, I think, in our first episode of the year for mm -hmm. season two. But if you guys haven't listened, if y'all haven't listened to it. Yeah. It was about our, it was basically our first date ever. Yeah. And it was with our awful prom dates. So. Oh, fuck. And we're not going to retell it, but go back and listen to it. It was pretty funny. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll literally, like, if you meet me in person, I'll tell you what his name is. <laughs> Cause I don't give a fuck go, about that man. Go give him a Google. Yeah. And then tell him if he has a problem with it, he can let me know. And we'll talk about it. <laughs> mano y mano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go back to your story. Um, so one of the guys I was talking to. This is in college. Yeah. In college. Um, after like he and I were having like issues to the point where I was like, yeah, no, go fuck yourself. Like yeah. the last one. Okay. Um, when I had met him, I had met some of his like buddies at the same time. Okay. And one of them like genuinely, like I could tell really liked me. And I was like, you got me so fucked up, dude. Like, no, because he was really annoying. And also like. There was just nothing there. Like I no just, attraction whatsoever. Yeah. Like, like if it goes past zero, it's in the negatives. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and like, he was nice, but like, that was it. And he was also very irritating to me. Like <laughs> he was one of those that would like, he got my Snapchat and then would try to FaceTime me all the time through Snapchat. And I was like, bitch, stop. Like, no, the first time he ever FaceTimed me, he had told me he needed to tell me something. So I thought it had to do with the guy, with the guy I was talking to or dating. Okay. And I answered and he fucking kept me on the phone for like an hour, just bullshitting. Like I was like, does this have anything to do with so-and-so or like, he was like, Oh no, I just wanted to talk. 
anyways, fast forward. This is me. Once again, this is me like <laughs> dipping for just a little bit. And then I'm like, see, this is why I can't do this shit. Yeah. He, him, he hits me up one morning <laughs> And he tells me it's early. It's like fucking 830 in the morning, which okay. is early. Oh, he's up early. Okay, that's a good yeah, sign. You're yeah. like, okay, he has his life together. Not even. <laughs> he was the only one without a fucking job. Like out of the three dudes I met, he was the only one. With- Anyways, he tells me he always would talk to me under the guise of talking about the other guy. Okay. Like he was like, Oh, I have like, and this is when he and I were like, not really talking at all. So he was like using the, the gossip and the tea as like leverage. Yeah. Right. To tell me what he was up to. So he'd be like, Oh yeah. Like, you know, so-and-so whatever. And he lived, I think he lived like 15, 20 minutes away from me. Okay. For those of you who know Hawaii, I lived in Palola Valley. He lived in like, he lived in, um, Hawaii Kai. So that's like what, like a 20 minute drive. Mm-hmm. So he lived over there. So he was literally driving into town and he was like, Oh, like, do you want something to eat? Like I'm going to drive through Starbucks or McDonald's. The one that I used to frequent down the street from my house. Got it. And then I was like, in my head, I'm like free food. I'm never going to pass up free yeah, food. Yes. So I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll take a 20 piece. Two no, I'll take, double- it was breakfast. So I got like a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit, two of them, two hash browns bought of me. So then I'm like, okay, yeah. Like I send him my order. He goes and gets it, brings it to my house. I did not know that this was going to turn into a breakfast date because he bought himself food and walked into my house. Why else would he? I thought he was going to drop it off. Why? Cause he said, I'm, I'm rolling through the drive through. I'll drop something off. And I was like, cool. <laughs> he literally brings a big ass bag comes in my home starts setting takes up a seat takes a seat <laughs> on starts, your bed so yeah starts making in your outside clothes yeah starts making himself comfortable kicks his shoes off and everything starts setting it up like we're having a picnic and i was like dude takes his shoes off and then he was like he was in my house for like an hour and he was like and then after he finished he like laid down on his elbow on my bed i was like bro get out of here it's like i didn't even eat my food because i wanted to eat it by myself you know i'm like you wanted you wanted to watch the legally blonde musical you you know when you want to eat and like watch your show like that's (laughs) that's what i wanted so i didn't even eat i was just sitting there and i was like "Mm -hmm." (laughs) mm-hmm it's crazy are you done i have stuff to do Oh, dude, I just remember something that happened at the end. <laughs> Our mom does this thing where, like, when she's done, she'll stand up really fast. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it was great seeing you. That's, That's how you end a date. I'm telling yeah. you right now. So, well, in my own home, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. well, I got to go. And I was in my pajamas. <laughs> no, so I got you. I got a lot of stuff to do. Well, I had eventually I was literally like, all right, dude. Well, it's been great. Thank you, you for the breakfast. Your- He's like, he goes, you didn't even eat. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like my stomach hurts. I'll eat Get it. The fuck out of my house. Yeah. And then I'm literally like, yeah. And then he goes, he's like, yeah, like still trying to make conversation. I'm like, get out. <laughs> like, I'm so annoyed. So he gets out. I'm like, finally, fuck dude. Then I sit down and like set up my show. <laughs> Trying to like get him ready to eat. He comes to your window. (laughs) (laughs) And you're like, get out. out." (laughs) Yeah. So then he fucking calls me and I'm like, no way, dude. Like, no way. I just saw you. And so then, and of course, this was the one weekend my roommate wasn't home Mm -hmm. because I was begging her to come back. I'm like, please come back too. And so then, like, he calls me and I'm like, what? <laughs> when I answer, because <laughs> I like didn't have it in me to pretend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was like kind of fun back there. He did say that. <laughs> but then he goes, I think I left my wallet on my house. I go, you didn't, dude. Not the move. I literally go, you didn't. <laughs> And he goes, no, I did. I did. I'm like, you didn't. I'm looking at my bed. It's not here. Like, I guess you dropped it in your car. So I got to really got to go. Like, he's like, no, I did. I did. Can you check like again? Like he was insisting that he left it there. Mm-hmm. So I go, just let me call you back. All right. I'm going to look for it. Cause I was like, get the, f- get the fuck away from <laughs> me. You hung up and you went, <laughs> <laughs> so I hung up. He goes, I really need it. I really need it. And then I look. Bitch, tell me why at one point I went to the bathroom because I just like didn't want to be in there anymore. Mm-hmm. 
And I think this is when he did this. Like, but hit like it under he hit it under my pillows. Like when I tell you I had four pillows, like four deep, and it was all the way at the back, pressed up against the wall. So I said it's like a move where you're like, yeah, oh, my like earrings. Can I come by and grab them? Yeah. yeah. He goes, I could just come back and get a get it. And I go, don't, don't. <laughs> Right. I literally told him, I, I literally was like, no, no, don't. I, him, I literally was like, I have, I have, things, yelling. To, I have things to do. I told him I have things to do. So like, <laughs> if you're going to come back, like, I'm just going to run it out to you. And then I got to go. Cause like, I have things to do. I started being a bitch. Cause I was like, no, he's like, well, and you just hear. <laughs> so then I go and I found it and I go. I go, yeah, I found it. He goes, oh, you did? I go, yeah, where you shoved it under my pillows. Why would you put your wallet under there? He goes, I didn't put it under there. And I'm all, so you're telling me it just made it to the back of my bed for no reason? You didn't even really lay down. And he was like, oh, like, you know. I was like, anyway. So then he comes it's back. Kind of fun, huh? No, it's not even the worst part. He comes back and then he calls me. And I go, don't come to the door. I'm coming outside. So I literally come outside, walk down the driveway, go up to him. I'm like, here you go. He goes, yeah. Oh, this is so bad, dude. It's all like coming back to me. Watch, give me your hand. So like, hold it out like this. Go I'm like holding that. the wallet, right? Okay. Yeah, you're handing it to me. So he takes it like this, right? I go, all right, cool. Yeah. See ya. I'm like, right? And then he goes, I had a lot of fun. I'm all pumped, bro. <laughs> when you watch grab my hand yeah like he did that i go yeah same bro <laughs> like the girl on the yeah, yeah 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 but you're the guy i was like yeah same you know what drive safe brother and i just walk, i turned around and left he looked like he was leaning in you just take off sprinting up i literally was i started sweating so bad i was like oh my god the the if the ick that shot through my the capillaries in my hand bro <laughs> like i was like <laughs> levitating like that no, yeah, dude dude imme- oh, if billy did that to me i would literally want to shoot myself anyway yeah. so like someone who i i absolutely abhorred yeah. doing that to me Ah, uh, and I was like, he did, and I was like, yeah, same. Go about shoots, brother. Have a good, have a safe drive. And then he fucking, he's like, oh, okay. And then I turn, ah, uh, oh my god, it makes my skin crawl still. So fucking bad, dude. That's very similar to your organ story of the dude on the bed. Yeah, making you watch the movie. And he's like, don't. Oh, I won't look at your unmentionables and all. <laughs> dude get the fuck out of my room at least like, the movies like that and I'm like yeah well and I don't and I pull it out and pull it <laughs> make sure you return it they're gonna bill you dude <laughs> that's I'm why tired. I was, oh it's my crazy. god well no I was gonna say at the end of <sighs> my most recent date mm-hmm. um, this person kept saying like I could tell they were like lingering towards the end because I was like yeah. time to go home it's time to go home please stop talking and then um they were like, oh, what'd you say? And I was like, what? I was like, oh, like I said something, but I don't remember what I said. Yeah. And then they made me repeat it like three times because they couldn't hear me. They're like, oh, I thought you said something else. And I was like, no. And it wasn't even loud. So I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. And then they were like, well, just standing there staring at me. I was like, okay, well, I got to go. Oh, dude, it makes me want to die. And then I, f- I felt obligated. So I gave them a hug. And then they were like, the hug was like a little too long. And they lingered a little close by my face. And I literally was like. Like <laughs> pulling out of it. There's something <laughs> about, and it was icky. And I literally ran and got in my car. <laughs> and locked the doors. <laughs> the, in- <laughs> the intimacy of stuff like that is so chug and cringe to me, dude. Like, I remember when I first started dating Billy. I damn the first like three or four dates. I damn near rolled out of the car because I just didn't want to do the like, like, ending of anything. I, is yeah, so uncomfortable. As, I was like, you don't even have to slow down. I just yeah. like open the door and I'd run up the driveway. <laughs> You're running next to the door. You're like, see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, <laughs> literally the way that like you know how like those like skiers like the ones that do luge they like like that. <laughs> that was me on the fucking outside of a car because I was just so afraid of the the first intimate moments like sure, that. Sure, sure. They don't yeah. give me butterflies like I, like Nicholas Sparks says. They don't, they really cringe me the fuck out like mm-hmm. that. And then I'm like, let's just get it over with. You know what I mean? Like, we'll just power through it and it'll be fine. It just makes me sick. <laughs> but it worked out with Billy. Yeah, so nice. that's all that matters. Nice. Yeah. We got through it. We weathered the storm together. Yeah. Thank God, no more bad dates for me. If only, if only, (laughs) if only you're closing in on it. I can feel it. 
I know when you made your pride post and ever, I saw people going, your sister's single. I'm like, you guys don't listen to my podcast. So you just moved to the bottom of the list. Yeah, literally. All right. So we're going to jump into some of these dating horror stories. I'm not going to lie. I peeped a little bit and they're so fucking funny. It I, I'm literally sure. kills me. So this one's from someone named Jess. And she said, I went on a first date with a guy I met on Bumble. First red flag was that he was about three inches shorter than what he said he was, which like, mm. I've been on a date like that girl. And it's very weird. Well, every time a man tells you how tall they are on a dating profile, unless they're over six, one, right? They're lying. Yeah. They're adding at least two inches every single time. So take it with a grain of salt. So she said he was three inches shorter than he initially said he was. Mm -hmm. Then he started telling her that he was a demigod and she laughed because she thought he was joking. And she's like, he was not. At the end of the date, he hugged me goodbye and lifted me up off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote, there was no second date. <laughs> like he was trying to crack your back? <laughs> or like levitate with her because he's a demigod? What if he lifted her? No, I think he was just trying to show her how strong he was. He's like, see, if I wasn't half Hercules, would I be Like able to I was going to say, like on some Hercules shit. Yeah. If I wasn't half Poseidon, would I be able to do this? Let me tell <laughs> On some Percy, I would not on some Percy Jackson shit, dude. I would. First of all, Hercules isn't a god. I know everyone's gonna fucking tell me that. I know he's a demigod. Oh, he is. You're right. Yeah, because okay. they, they make him human, but he yes. has the powers of a god or something like that. Because well, his mom's a human and his dad's a god. Yeah, yeah. So he is, but <laughs> he's biracial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's mixed. Um, one of those. Uh, I, it, I'm not going to lie to you. If someone said that to me, I'd be like, okay, Percy Jackson. Like yeah. I would, I would make a joke. Me too. And, and if they didn't laugh, then I would be like, Ooh. check please. The picking up thing. I can't tell you, like, maybe it's just like a tall, big girl thing, but like, yeah. I hate being picked up. Yeah. Like it, a, an innate like fear runs through my body. I think just because I just, I think most of it is I don't like being touched. I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. But also I just hate the thought of someone picking me up. Sure. Like, I don't know why it just makes like me want to die. A, so, you know, you, you did those meet and greets at uh, VidCon that were so cute. Yeah. If someone asked you, can I pick you up like on my back? Would you do it? No, <laughs> I'd be like respectfully. No. What if they asked you to pick them up on your back? No. Again, no. Oh, but you would, if they want to be held like a baby, like front to front. <laughs> You're like, no, now that I can do. No, I'll, I'll literally like, I'll let you fucking stand on my shoulders before I like <laughs> let you pick me up. You know what I'm saying? Like I do a human pyramid with you before I did that. You're like, can I get on your neck in the pic? And fuck no, dude. What is this? A Diplo concert? Like, no. What is this EDC? Like you don't need to get on my shoulders, bitch. No, because that makes me angry. Like that's like, <laughs> because I'm tall, like get the fuck out of here, dude. Big woman. Yeah, no. Um, but the thought of someone picking me up, the, if they did it involuntarily, mm -hmm. that Which would, is how, how can you involuntarily like without your consent? Like, you like if, yeah, like if you hug them and then he just like, that's why I said, like, I thought you meant like he, it's involuntary to him. Like he can't help it. No, it like it. against her will. Yes. Like, and, and, and like without with, consent with yeah. no warning. Yeah. That would piss me off. Yeah. Like I, I Especially would like me. Cause they'd be like, <laughs> the fuck up, dude. no dude they would i would lash out so aggressively that it would make it awkward like i'd be like, what the fuck are you doing dude what's wrong with you put me down put me down right now i swear to fucking god i said i don't ever do that to me again like i would literally start i don't give a fuck who your dad is yeah <laughs> I'll fucking kill yeah, you. Yeah, I'll kill you in front of your dad. So don't <laughs> no, fucking I'm ever take do. your body and be yeah, your dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Who the fuck are you? Yeah, like, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I would lash out so harshly <laughs> that it would make it uncomfortable. <laughs> and then there would be no second day because I was too mean to him at the yeah. end. Yeah. No, so I give you not props. Not because he lied about his height or because he believes he's a demigod. No, because he picked me up without asking first. <laughs> <laughs> it upset me so much. The other brutal. stuff I could look past, dude, but this is <laughs> hard this, no. This is where I draw the line. I think, like, no, because that shit, like, oh, that makes me so mad just thinking about it. Sorry, Jess. Yeah. You deserve better. Period. It's, for the best that there wasn't a second date. She's a Sag sun, a mm -hmm. Leo moon, and a Leo rising. 
Damn, then I can't believe you let him do that That's shit That's all I'm you. saying. I can't believe you let him do that shit. I'm just saying in the sense that there was no repercussion after. <laughs> other than no date, obviously. I just yeah, mean like, yeah, yeah. But I get it because, like, maybe it just caught you off guard. Yeah. I guess. But it would catch me off guard and upset me to the point where I wouldn't be able to not say something. Yeah. Like, I would get mad. I would get really I mad. Agree. Okay. <laughs> like unnecessarily bad. Okay. This next one's from someone and she said, this is so embarrassing and gross. I can't believe I tolerated it. This one's like kind of insane. Are you ready? Okay. She said, I used to date a guy who had in all caps, terrible teeth. And she put, they looked fine, but were so unhealthy, like grade A gingivitis. Then her teeth, Let's then they wait. didn't look fine, babe. I know. The man wouldn't floss because it was just a mess. Mind you, he never had bad breath or anything. So we'd been together for months. And near the end of our relationship, he pointed out that he was so surprised that I was never bothered by his teeth bleeding whenever we made out. <gasps> I was putting parentheses, not gushing, but just like the little bit with like a little bit of pressure because they're so weak and unhealthy. Ah! And she put, I had no clue. I never saw it. I never tasted it. I never knew. But as soon as he pointed it out, I was mortified and I hated kissing him after that. But I kept dating him and I don't know why. Luckily, we broke up shortly after that, but I'm so embarrassed that it was for other reasons and not for his nasty ass dying mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, okay. First off, that's just because you're a nice person. You're yeah, a good person. You're not so. a, a dummy or anything. Yeah, like well, that, and, yeah. and him him confiding in you and it's simultaneously making you want to kill yourself, but then also like feeling bad mm -hmm. is probably why you push through those yeah. last few months. But God damn. And for him to like share that with you and be like, I can't believe you don't care. You don't care that I'm literally endangering your life by dripping blood into your mouth because that's bad. Yeah. Yuck. I just feel sorry for you that like, you had to deal with that. I like, don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say either because like, yeah, I want on one hand. Yeah. You feel bad. But at the same, at the same time, you're a grown man. You know that you're bleeding. You're free bleeding into other people's mouths. <laughs> you just know that you're doing that Ew. and you don't care. Like get a hold of yourself, bro. Like quit kissing people until you figure that shit out. I'm like, that's what I said. Like, I'm not built for the dating world. I never have been Yeah, because I'm too, I'm too mean when it comes to shit like that, but that's because it affects me too. Yeah. That's dangerous for my health to be eating your fucking blood. And you're like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know my last name was Cullen. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's why I was like, if he told me, I'd be like, what? Like, <laughs> like every time, every time. Are you being fucking serious? Are you like being for, I'd be like, are you being for real? Yeah. Like, so you've just been bleeding in my mouth and not telling me. And then he can taste it. How do you not taste it too? That's what I'm saying. It, it has to be enough blood to like notice. Yeah. If it was a little tiny, tiny bit, mm -hmm. he wouldn't notice and he wouldn't have known it was happening. It must be enough to like visibly be seen in the mouth. Otherwise, how would he know that other partners have not been like, I can't do this. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Because they probably saw the blood too or they saw it in their own mouth and they were like, um, and he goes, Oh yeah, that, what tends the fuck to, is that? that tends to happen. You're never going to fucking see me again. Ew. I give you a lot of dude. Kudos to you, girly. Him just absolutely like him just dripping into your mouth like that without your again, knowledge or consent. And then he tells you you're so cool, man. You don't care at all. <laughs> That's so chill of you to be so cool with the free bleeding. So nice. But like, go to the dentist, go to I the just, orthodontist. I know. I think I'm confused. Like he had to have had other people tell him that. That's what I'm. Like, and then you're you kissing just, and you're all, you're all, um, that's why I said a little something in your mouth. It's an, and he goes, yeah, that happens. And then girls immediately are like, oh, <laughs> like, some okay, friends, we're going to take a really quick break for a little ad moment. And this one's with our friends at Apostrophe. So I know that I personally have had an acne breakout at the worst possible times at all times. For me, I tend to break out when I'm stressed and I always get stressed before I go off to go on a date or I have a big interview or something like that. And then that's where my acne comes in. So we've all really had struggles with our skin. And that's why we're so excited to partner with Apostrophe, the sponsor of this episode. So Apostrophe is a prescription skincare company that offers science-backed oral and topical 
topical medications that are clinically proven to help clear acne. At Apostrophe, an expert dermatology team will create a personalized treatment plan that is perfectly tailored to your unique skin. Simply fill out Apostrophe's online quiz about your skin goals and medical history. This process takes honestly like less than a minute or so. Then you'll snap a few selfies and a board certified dermatologist will create a, an initial customized treatment plan. Apostrophe treats all types of acne from hormonal acne to facial acne and even chest knee, back knee, and butt knee. They treat breakouts from head to toe. So we have a special deal for our audience. Save $15 off your first visit with an apostrophe provider at apostrophe.com slash two idiot girls. When you use our code two idiot girls, this code is only available to our listeners. So to get started, you'll just visit apostrophe.com slash two idiot girls and click begin visit. Then use our code two idiot girls at sign up. And you'll get your very first visit for only $5. That's a P O S T R O P H E.com slash two idiot girls. And use that code two idiot girls to get your first dermatologist crafted treatment plan for $5. And we thank apostrophe for sponsoring the podcast. Now back to the episode. Okay. This one's from Cheyenne. And she said, this guy and I were kind of talking. He was super toxic. We were in the back of his car messing around, but at this point I had the ick. So he asked me if I wanted to see his penis because, quote, <laughs> it looks like four Vienna sausages put together. I said, I'm good. But when I looked back towards him, he was already showing me a picture of it on his phone. We never talked. <laughs> he showed you a picture of it? Four Vienna. Do you think he means like lengthwise or width? No, I think he means it's. <laughs> which is fucking gross. <laughs> Just bleep what I said. <laughs> Any man that asks you, do you want to see it? No. You should always say no. I agree. You say nothing would make me unhappier, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll scream. So And don't take pictures of it yourself unless you have a medical emergency question. Like the fact that he was like, you want to see? And he showed her a picture of it. Four Vienna sausages. What if what if it's what, like what's on, him saying that makes you think like you're gonna go, oh yeah. Yeah, and also Vienna sausages are this big. That's what I said. Are you fucking stupid? And like they're all well, four like in a bunch. <laughs> like pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Dude, you know literally Bobby calls them weenie tots. <laughs> yeah. What if you he takes so many pictures of it that it's like it has its own face? You yeah. know, on like iPhones it says faces. Are these the same person? Yeah, it says <laughs> faces and it's all like just the head of his yeah, it's, penis it's his face and then his pee pee fucking disgusting dude okay this next one's from ashlyn she said i went on a date with a guy who told me he was 5 8 i didn't mind because he was at least a little taller than me because i'm 5 5 turns out he was shorter than me by like two inches on top of that he picked some stupid zombie movie that i didn't even want to watch and then he tries to make out with me in the packed movie theater i told my friend to call me in the middle of the movie to get me out of there this is why i hate dating apps but i continue to use them damn well damn. i think you're not alone in that feeling i'm sure everyone no, like uses dating same apps. same girl that's why I'm, i try it and i go i always hate myself when i'm on here i'm not doing it <laughs> i mean a stupid zombie movie. I wonder what it was. Do you think it was like Zombie Land too? It's like World War Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a. It's twenty eight days later. It's like a scary one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Making out in the movies when are you fucking thirteen? Uh, That's such a juvenile thing. I just thing. remember in, in like eighth grade, my friend. No, sixth grade. My friend was dating a boy, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Yeah, we go to the movies," and then like they told me later that like they'll go in couples like of three mm -hmm. and they'll all just like make out with each other. Like the couples will make out with each other while you're all there like next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weirdly like I know. orgy. I'm all, okay. I'm all, why do you invite me then? I don't have a boyfriend. Well also like, what's the point of the movie? Like just go sit in a park or something, you know, something yeah. that doesn't cost money. I'm like, assuming it's just like, cause like their family will let them go. And yeah. it's like dark. Yeah. But like, that's why I said that's so fucking juvenile to want to make out in a movie. Like, yuck, dude. I paid to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch the fucking movie. Mm -hmm. We're not going to sit here and kiss on the lips. What are you fucking nuts? Like, <laughs> I'm such an old man. I'd be like, well, get, the, get the fuck off me. You know what I yeah. mean? No way, dude. Like, make out in your car like a normal person. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
what the fuck? And the lying about the height part for the course, I yeah, told you, they, okay. they add two inches every time, unless they're legitimately over six, one, they're always going to add at least two yeah. at minimum two inches. Sounds like he added fucking seven though, which is a bummer. Yeah. He was five, three, not five, eight. Yeah, and Bro, then what? And then, well, she said a couple inches shorter, and she's five four. So no, he must she was have five been, five. No, she said you said five four. No, and a little taller than me, and I'm five five. Oh well, you said five four when you were. Talking. Oh, sorry, I was thinking of me. <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck that, dude. Like the lying about the height thing is is one thing, but everything else is worse to me. Mm-hmm. But oh man. Making out in a fucking movie is so lame, bro. And he picked a fucking lame ass movie too. Yeah, one time I got asked out on a date too, and I almost went, but I didn't end up going. Thank fucking god! But like, he picked that movie Draft Day. Oh yeah. What's worse? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's gonna be me. He was a fucking football player, and he didn't play, and he wasn't good. So Oof. he was literally like, "Yeah, I thought we could go see a movie," and I'm like okay cool and he goes i already picked it out and everything i was like oh all right and that was the movie <laughs> I'm like, i don't want to watch this fucking bullshit Drafted. now every time i see that movie that was what it makes me think of makes me think of that dude <laughs> yuck okay this is from someone else she said i went out with my then boyfriend for pancakes um he had a savory crepe a few days later i went for breakfast with some friends while he had an exam and i had chocolate chip pancakes my ex-boyfriend then got mad at me because then pancakes weren't special anymore (laughs) that man's a cancer and he knows it huh pancakes weren't special anymore isn't that the most cancer man shit you've ever heard no that's the most fucking lame-o shit i've ever heard (laughs) So he just has a, he has the commodity on pancakes. No one's ever allowed to eat them with you ever again. He said his feelings were hurt. No, that's too much for me, bro. I wouldn't like that if a friend told me that. You think I'm going to like that if a man told me that? Well, she said it pissed her off. You can tell it pissed her off. That's why they're not together anymore. But I would have been like, shut up. I would have been like, are you being for real? Like I would have laughed and it would have made me sound insensitive. I thought you are you being fucking for real? Mm Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just never. I guess I'm swearing off pancakes like Lent That's for the rest of my thing. life. <laughs> you can't have you can't have claim on a fucking carb. Like That's so funny. I swear to God, if I see you eating those with anyone else, it's over. It's over. This That's next so one, I think it's Brianna. It might be Brianna. I don't know. But she said I was at a park with a guy I dated in high school, and he deadass had me sit on a bench while he sang "She Will Be Loved" by Maroon Five. <laughs> Acapella t- <laughs> the whole thing, multiple courses and all. Those three minutes felt like a lifetime and it's lived in my brain for over a decade. How old were you when that happened? She said high school. It was probably like 15, 16. Too old. <laughs> Too fucking old. Do you think he did all the harmonies too? He's like, she will be loved. No, I don't think so. He made you sit there and listen. How does that song start? I don't mind spending every day sitting out in the pouring rain. Right, yeah, that's it. Look, guys, look for the girl with the broken smile. smile, Yeah, and he's asking her her. if she wants to stay a while, and then she and she (laughs) will be loved. I'd love to know if you acapella too. If you listen to this and this is you. I'd really love for you to send a picture of the stance that he was in the whole time. <laughs> what do you think you show the people? I think he was standing like this. Hold on. For all the listeners, I'll describe it to you. That are watching. It was like, he's like standing and he was like. <laughs> She's just bouncing, like, 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 like bobbing in place. Feet pointed out. Feet feet, pointed, yeah, feet pointed out. And, he's, and I'll, I'll sit down so you see him face. Yeah. And his eyes are closed and he's pointing with a finger. Yeah, That's what you're saying. <laughs> Sing it right now so we can hear. I don't mind. <laughs> Oh my god! And then what is, was she just sitting there like? Well, I I hope I hope to God. Hold on, I'm gonna put my fucking headphones back on. <laughs> I hope. For the girl with the broken I hope smile. you were sitting like this the whole time. <laughs> like dead man. Yeah, you're just going. Wow, <laughs> he's really good. He's really good. <laughs> People were walking by, going, "What the fuck." Oh my god. What a fucking shitty ass song too. 
Oh, well, I'll tell you a story. When I was in high school, there was this kid <laughs> that like loved me. Like this is your senior year, huh? No, oh. this was like, I was like a fucking junior. Not even, I was like a sophomore. Mm-hmm. I want to say. I'm trying to remember who you're talking about. You will. Once I say what, <laughs> what happened. Um, we were talking about, I don't even fucking remember. It was like <laughs> high school kid shit when you're yeah. texting. And then he was like, Hey, have you ever heard this song? And he sent me the link to it mm-hmm. and I couldn't open it on my phone <laughs> yeah, because it was the internet. So I like had to like copy paste it <laughs> into my browser at home on the family computer. And I like pulled it up and it was the song, just the way you are by Bruno Mars. It had just come out. Yeah. And he's like, have you ever listened to the song? And he goes, that's literally you. And he was telling me, you just don't realize like. He said, belly, you don't know the impact you have on us. (laughs) And I was like, impact. The difference being like, I was so disgusted by it. (laughs) But like, he was like, do you know? Um, He's like, you just don't know how beautiful you are. Like, that's what he was telling (laughs) me. And then in my head, I was like, this is how you know I've had a God complex, a God complex for however fucking long. Cause he told me that. And I was like, bitch, I know how fucking cute I am. Like get the fuck out of here. That's what I thought initially. Yeah. But I was like, gee, thanks. And then I remember showing Dace and we were both laughing because it was so fucking yeah, cringe, so bro. I, hear that song. I know. They sometimes they someone here and she'll text it to me. She's like, hey, have you ever heard this song? And she'll just Thinking send me you. and she'll just send me the Spotify link to that song. <laughs> The QR code to that song. One time. So I went to U of O, right? Mm -hmm. And I took a fig, which is a freshman interest group. My mom made me do it. Yeah. Because then I would live with those kids, like in the same residence hall. So we took like the same three classes our first term of college. So it was like automatic friends, right? So I took a comic book one. So I had a great assortment of people in it. Mm -hmm. And so one of the classes we took was like with one of our professors. And it was basically to catch up on our work for the week or like ask him questions. Yeah. And so in that, that's what it was supposed to be. But he would literally treat it like a a, reg, a random hour of things. Okay. He's an old British guy. And so he taught it. That's how I learned how to meditate. He yeah, taught yeah, us how yeah. to sit while you meditate. He taught us different random things. And so one time we would do these things called Quaker circles, okay. which is literally, and I think it's like Quaker people, they do this where you sit in a circle. I mean, I would assume. And you, if you feel inclined, you stand up and share whatever you feel like sharing. Okay. And so one time we did this and uh, we were all sitting in desks and he, he would turn all the lights off and we would do it for like 50 minutes. Jesus Christ. And so one time this girl stood up, she lived with us, uh-huh. uh, lived in my home. And she sang that song from Shrek 2, that Hallelujah song. <laughs> oh, no, not her. I'm sorry. A different kid did. He that was, was from the first Shrek, by the way. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. This kid it's stood him. up and sang it. The whole thing from start to finish. Was it good? I mean, not really. <laughs> and so I had to like look at the ground because I wanted to laugh. And then this weirdo girl that was also in there. And the yeah. same, she's the one that lived with us. You should have stood up and started harmonizing. She, start, she started harmonizing with him. <laughs> Anyway, she was like, and then when he finished, she sat down and she was like, that was so beautiful. And then she lived in my hall, like I said. Did you I said, say you're a little biased because you were singing with him? She's like, great. She's like, Chase. She was like, I loved it. Um, and then when I got home that day, like I was like in my room doing homework and walking into my room to do stuff. And she was taking a shower like in the hallway mm-hmm. and was singing that song at the top of her lungs. And it was so embarrassing. That's such a fucking organ story, bro. <laughs> That's the most organ shit I've ever heard in my life. It was awful, bro. When I was a freshman, when I was a freshman, there was this guy. So that was, anyone invites you to a Quaker circle, you should always say no. <laughs> Unless you want to sing hallelujah, yeah. then you should say yes. Or her, she will be loved. Oh, what's the word? <laughs> I wish it was that. What have been like, this guy's got it. He's yeah. really good. He's really good. <laughs> there was this guy when I was a freshman in uh, college. There was this guy that was also a freshman at the same time. Mm-hmm. I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Okay. But uh, he was like that guy. Like he was like the guy that everybody had a crush on. Ooh, okay. And everyone who went to UH or lives in Hawaii and goes to UH or whatever has at any point been to UH knows this. But there is an alarming amount of white people that go to UH. Oh, I'm sure. Like yeah. genuinely like Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, like Carlsbad type people, rich yeah. white Malibu, people. yeah. Rich white people from the beach towns that go to Hawaii because they're like, oh, it's the same thing. That's just a side note. But this dude was a white dude. That's why I mentioned that. But he was like that bitch in my grade. Like it felt very high schooly because mm-hmm. I was like, I can't believe we're all talking about somebody that like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
And he was, uh, but like everyone knows that's pretty hard. And everybody had a crush on like all the bitches were like falling at the knees. That's pretty hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. In college. Yeah. yeah. So like this dude was like six, three. Unless he was like an athlete or something. And he wasn't, that was another thing. He wasn't an athlete. He was just a regular fucking surfing white dude. So Mm -hmm. he was like six, three. He had long hair, like long, dirty blonde hair. He was like in good shape. Right. Mm hmm. He was a very, like, if, like, the summer I turned pretty, that's, like, the dude that I would, like, picture in my head if I was reading the book. It would be, like, him being one of those guys, right? Yeah. So, I remember, like, he lived in my dorm, right? And and all the bitches would talk about that guy all the time. They'd be like, oh, my God, like, he's so hot, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I took an elevator with the dude one time, and that's how I found out what his name was. Because he introduced himself to me, and I was like, all right, cool, like, what's up? Nice to meet you. Whatever. And then we had a couple classes together. <laughs> and this is like, this is the story I carry with me when I, when you, when men are like, especially Jim Bros, because he was one. Yeah. You could tell. Um, was like, <laughs> when they just put all their, they bank all of their looks. Like, they're like, this is what's going to carry me through life is my looks, right? Yeah. For whatever reason. And um, I remember I had a calm class with him. And this class was about apps, right? It was about like the importance of apps, like how they're going to play a huge role in capitalism, like all kinds of shit, like marketing, all of that. Okay. Um, And it was about apps. And so at the time, Ninja Fruit was a huge app, right? It was like the biggest game sweeping the nation, right? So my professor (laughs) goes... Mind you, this game, this dude never came to class with anything other than a fucking hydro flask and one of those protein shakers never had anything else <laughs> so never, not a nary a pencil or a laptop like this bitch can't, didn't even carry a fucking backpack not bro. nary no he literally had two drinks that's all he came, brought to class every mm-hmm. fucking time and i remember he used to sit in the front with his other friend who looked a lot like the guy who plays jeremiah yeah and i the summer i turned pretty he looked he's like a him. cutie i like him he looked he looked like him his buddy so they would sit together at the he's very what front josh richards thinks he looks like tea <laughs> fucking tea anyways i don't think josh richards is problematic at all no no okay that's pretty funny though that's a mean thing you just said no the most like infamous thing he's that has happened around him was when his girlfriend broke up with him to date his best friend <laughs> tea again and then they broke up and again tea right <laughs> so anyways i remember <laughs> my professor goes all right so like what are some really big apps right now that you guys mm-hmm. can think of like that are super popular so people said like instagram pinterest yeah. facebook like whatever and then someone goes he goes what about something like that's not social media like games ninja so fruit. someone goes ninja fruit right and he goes okay ninja fruit's a great example yeah right and he goes um why do you think <laughs> Why do you think Ninja Fruit is so popular? Mm-hmm. Like, what do you think about that? M- what markets that to like so many different audiences? Sure. I shit you not. I'll never forget this. I see it so clearly in my head. He raised his hand, this fucking dude. Protein that I- shaker in hand. <laughs> yeah. He goes, <laughs> right, like, like clicks it closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the little balls yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah, bring you. He raises his hand. He goes, well. <laughs> I was well, you think if you think about it, um, if you think about it, China is the biggest uh, video game like hub of the world. Already not true. Bad start. Yeah. Tripping out the blocks. Okay. He goes, it's already so it's <laughs> video games are so popular there. Right. Uh huh. And then the guy goes, okay. Right. And he goes, so whatever they want to play is going to get popular everywhere. And obviously, as we all know, China ninjas, right? That's how it got popular. So like, because there's ninjas there, it, it marketed so well to, I I would assume he means the Asian community, right? Also fruit. Yeah. They have fruit there. As far as I know. (laughs) Yeah, bro. They have fruit there too. Everything I know about China, ninjas and fruit. And he goes, so like they started playing it. That's what made it popular. There was probably about 13 lies in that sentence. Like none of that is. And he was being dead serious. Like so fucking serious, bro. Like I remember going, like I was in shock. My professor goes, 
Uh, <laughs> like he was so caught off guard. Like he didn't know what to say. Uh-huh. He goes, okay, well, <laughs> that's not really what I was. Let's move on. Does anyone else have another app? Like he didn't even fucking address it. <laughs> so he was like, you know, like Ninja Fruit. It was so simultaneously racist and stupid. I was like immediately gone. Anything I could have ever, like if I ever at one point was like, yeah, he's handsome, gone immediately. I couldn't believe that he said it with such conviction. Yeah, his whole chest in there Yeah, to this day, I still think about it sometimes and I'm like, I wonder what that dude's up to. Yeah, what is he doing? I don't know. Probably selling fucking insurance or something. He's probably working at Enterprise. But I remember seeing, I was like, and then I would hear girls be like, oh my God, he's so cute. I'm all, well, he's a fucking idiot. So, and I remember someone bringing him up to me and I go, do you know what I think about when I hear think about, think about that guy? And I told her the story and she goes, well, I don't care about that. I'm all, you don't care that this fucking grown man <laughs> like thinks that, thinks that everyone in China is running around in a ninja costume and slicing fruit for fun. <laughs> you don't care that he thinks that? That doesn't bother you? And I remember going, well, good luck to you. If you good started luck dating. to you, girly. And then he started dating someone exactly like who you would picture. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, so that's nice. they're probably going off being racist together. <laughs> perfect. Okay, this is from Audrey. And she said that this is literally how she wrote it. Hinge guy, hot as hell. Lumberjack meets Thor type with great dick. Date two was a red flag that I ignored, but maybe date four or five. Breakfast place in the middle of nowhere, holding his hands, waiting for waffles. I say, oh, you bite your nails. And he looks me dead in the face and goes, yeah, I also bite my toenails. I'm like, you're joking. And he goes, no, I've always done it since I was a kid. It's why I'm so flexible, although it's gotten harder over the years. For whatever reason, I didn't get out of that diner immediately. And then he goes to me a week later. <laughs> Cause he, cause I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you are. Your face probably gave away way too much. And then he was like, I may have tipped it. He literally was saying, I may have said too That's much. That's why I'm so flexible. Although it's definitely gotten harder over the years. Count your blessings, bitch. If he ghosted you, first of all. If I were you, I'd tell people the story and I would tell them he goes to me and I think it's because he knew that he saw the fear in my eyes when he told me that story. <laughs> I've always done it. <laughs> did you did you at least get to see the toes before he goes to you? Do you know because when people bite my their fingernails, it's all like red and jagged and whatever. Yeah. Do you think his toes look like that too? That's why I said, that's why I said, did you get a chance? If if she said good dick, she must've seen him naked. She has to have seen his bare feet at some point. <laughs> but like, I'm so curious to know if you went and purposely sought them out. Cause I would have had to. Uh, yeah. Just for before science. I dipped, yeah. I would have had to. Now let me see those dogs. I would have been like, I literally would have been like, prove it. I want to see you do it just to see. And then I would have been like, and you're going to jail. <laughs> And nail biting is so unsanitary. There's so much shit on your fucking nails. Biting your toenails, But, like, bro. then your toenails, girly. And then you can you imagine, I'm like, like, I imagine, like, how I watch my cats bite their toenails. Like, they're like, yeah. And, and, they're, and, then, and, and then, literally then, him going like this. Yeah. No, and then they and then they tug it, like, like a piece of beef jerky. Do you think that's what he does to his toenails? How do you reach this last one? That's why he said he's flexible. What if he just, what if he takes his foot all the way up? Like, like a bike? Yeah. Knee to the face. And then, and then he just dips his foot down. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I don't even know what to say. You know what I would think is that you were kissing on that mouth. Toenail mouth. And he was chewing on them dogs. Toenail lips. He was chewing on his own dogs. <laughs> And then he was looking you in your eyes and kissing you on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother level of disrespect. And to ghost you on top of that. But I'm telling you, spin the story. Tell people he he saw the fear in your eyes and he ghosted you. <laughs> I bet you anything he saw your... No one would be able to fucking not react to that. <laughs> in an unpleasant way. Unless they also chewed their toenails. It's kind of insane, bro. I would have needed to see it. 
I would have needed to. Show like, me. I'd be like, prove it. Do you think he gets naked to do it? I feel like you'd have to have no layers on to no restrictions. No, if you could probably wear just wear shorts and no shirt. I don't want to know what the uniform is for chewing off your own fucking toenails. Like, I don't want to know. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> it's something else, man. Times like this, I realize there's more people in the world than there needs to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, don't have kids because you might just <laughs> produce something like that. You know what I mean? I'm just kidding. Not. Not. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Um, it was definitely something else. I'm not going to lie to you. Y'all are wild. Every twist and turn. <laughs> Every day I, I, learn, uh, I learn a little more about you all. <laughs> and I wish I didn't. Sometimes I'm just kidding. We should keep some things to ourselves. Yeah. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll have an amazing week. We'll see you next week. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can listen to it everywhere you listen to podcasts. And you can watch the YouTube version on our YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.